Hey there, in this podcast and video, we're gonna talk about what to do if you lose focus during a game. So when you're playing a game, what are the many things that can cause you to lose focus? Well, number one are gonna be external distractions. External distractions can include the fans, they can include the field environments, they can include the weather. It could also include maybe your coaches, teammates, or the opponents. All of that is gonna play into distracting you and causing you to lose focus during a game. Now, another way that you can lose focus is due to falling behind in the game. If you fall behind, it can become very easy to then become distracted. You're going to worry about, how am I going to catch up to this score, right? How are we going to catch up? And that takes you out of the present moment, which is actually going to lead to you catching up to that score. So that can also cause you to lose focus during a game. Another thing that's going to cause you to lose focus is going to be past performances. Have you ever gone into a game kind of worried about how you did the last game. Let's say you had a pretty bad game the last time. And when you're going into this game, did you feel like you were really still thinking about and holding on to that past performance? It's very easy to do. Now, when you do this, what happens is you're losing focus. You're not so focused on this one performance because your mind is split. Half of your mind is thinking about that past performance, and the other part of your mind is thinking about this performance. But now, to add on top of that, What you're probably thinking about with this performance is I don't want to repeat the past performance I have. So if you don't want to repeat that past performance, that's also going to cause you to lose focus because now you're focused on fear. You're focused on not making a mistake. Another way that focusing on past performances can cause you to lose focus during a game is if you find yourself in a specific situation that maybe you choked in or you messed up in in the past. When you find yourself in one of those moments, those past memories of you performing badly, especially if they're accompanied by some pretty negative emotions, they're going to all come rushing into you at once. And when that happens, it's very difficult to then say, okay, I'm going to let that go and I'm going to be refocused right now in the present moment. And then another thing that can cause you to lose focus during a game are your stats. Now, for athletes, statistics are really like that determining factor, right? They're the determining factor that says, Either I'm good or I'm not that great, right? Because it's the statistics. But truth be told, statistics need to just happen. When you start to think about your stats during a game, is that really going to help you put yourself in the best position to achieve the stats you want? Probably not. What's going to happen is, more than likely, you're going to develop a little bit of fear and anxiety. You're going to be worried about, oh man, am I going to be able to get that statistic that I want? My stats are looking pretty good right now. I hope I don't make a mistake and ruin them. All that sort of thinking is taking your focus away from the present moment and actually leading to you having the stats you don't want rather than having the stats you do want, all by focusing on them. So thinking about your stats during a game is another thing that can really cause you to lose focus. Now, no matter what distraction is causing you to lose focus, the solution I'm about to give you can be used for any of them. When you find yourself losing focus during a game, what you need to start thinking about is a thought-stopping phrase. Focus is all about thinking. When you lose focus, this is because your thoughts are becoming attached to something else, something that really isn't helping you in this moment. Now, to counteract those thoughts, right? So to counteract that lack of focus, you have to interrupt your thinking. And this is where this thought-stopping phrase comes into play. Choose one phrase that you wanna say that is simple, succinct, and you can memorize. And then whenever you feel like you're losing focus during a game, just start repeating that phrase in your mind over and over again. This is going to do a couple of things. Number one is it is really interrupting those thoughts, right? It's taking control of the thoughts in your head. When you lose focus, a lot of times your mind can feel a little out of your control. So your thoughts feel like they're just running wild. By thinking about this thought-stopping phrase, that's going to take control of your thinking because you are repeating something you have memorized, so you're not having to put much thought into it in that moment, thinking, oh gosh, what do I need to be thinking about? No, you know what you're going to think about. You're going to repeat that phrase. And the more that you repeat that, the more you are taking control of your thinking. Now, in addition to that, what's also going to happen is this phrase is going to help refocus your attention. Because you're going to be reminding yourself by using that phrase to bring your attention back into this present moment. Bring your attention back onto the task that you're doing. Some really great phrases that I like, and your phrase needs to be completely personalized to you, but you can just use these as some examples, are pause, regroup, refocus. 
let go, focus in the present moment. Take a deep breath, stay calm, right? You are thinking about what's the best way for me to regain my focus? And then what's the best thing for me to say to myself to help me get into that state where I am more focused? So whenever you lose focus during a game, it is all about taking control of your attention, taking control of your thoughts, and then reminding yourself, this is what I need to focus on through this thought-stopping phrase. So take some time, craft your own thought-stopping phrase, repeat it to yourself, get it memorized, and then use that the next time you lose focus during a game. Now, if you're interested in one-on-one mental game coaching where we work on improving your focus along with many other areas of your mental game, such as confidence, reducing anxiety, increasing motivation, then there's a link in the description below. So you can go ahead and click that and start the process. It is a 12-week program that begins with a mental game assessment then I will create a custom mental training plan for you. Then we have weekly coaching calls every week that include action steps you're going to do throughout the remainder of the week and really ways that you can put these tools and the concepts that we discuss into practice. So like I said, if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description, so go ahead and start that process. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the best of success in all that you do.